friends today we will be doing some problems uh, what we have discussed so far in the modern physics and the nuclear physics so based on that we will do some problems uh, say uh, i have here find the find the radius of the first bohr orbit find the radius of the first bohr orbit what will be the velocity what will be the velocity of electron in this orbit so velocity radius uh find has find the size of atom size of hydrogen atom so let us do this problem and we know from the bohr study so i refer you back to the bohr study and what we have rn radius of nth orbit rn is epsilon not n square at square upon pi m e square this was the formula from the bohr theory the radius of nth orbit is given by this from this formula well the first orbit r1 will be for n equal to 1 so epsilon not h square pi m e square this will be the you can see the first orbit radius so you can calculate this this is for n equal to 1 so you can put the value of various parameters you find out r1 as r1 is equal to epsilon not 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 epsilon not and h square is is square is 6.62 6.62 into 10 to the power minus 34 this is square divide by pi m e square so pi you know 3.14 m mass of the electron that is 9 into 10 to the power 9 into Uh, in the kilogram minus thirty one ten to power minus thirty one kilogram. So it and this is the pi m and e square the charge of electron one point six into ten to power minus nineteen coulomb. And this is square. 
Now you solve this. Find out this. Multiply. Take a square and find out the value of R1. Well, R1 will be equal to 0 0.53 into 10 raised to R minus 10 meter. Or that you can write uh, in terms of 10 to the power minus 10 meter, 0 0.53 angstrom. So this is the uh, radius of first Bohr orbit. Find the radius of the first Bohr orbit. So this is the size of the Bohr orbit. What will be the velocity of the electron in this orbit? And uh, so let us see the velocity of electron what is the velocity of electron from the formula we have Vn velocity in the nth orbit is e square upon twice epsilon naught n h n equal to 1 v 1 is equal to e square twice epsilon naught h so find out this b1 well b1 will be equal to find out this 1.6 10 to power minus 19 coulomb square divided by twice 8.85 epsilon and 10 to the power minus 12 and h 6.62 10 to the power minus 34 just now solve this find out b1 V1 is the equal to how much you calculate, find out 2.2 into 10 to the power 6. 2.2 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second. So this is the velocity of electron in the first orbit, that is the Bohr orbit. And uh, obviously 2.2 is this the velocity and we have seen the 0.53 the radius so what is the uh, size of the hydrogen atom size means diameter you can say size hydrogen radius we have calculated 0 0.53 angstrom diameter means 1.06 angstrom or 1.06 into 10 to power minus 10 meter this is a size you can diameter you can say Good. Now let us go further and we go, we see something else. Some other problem we want to solve. Uh, <coughs> Hmm. 
So what problem or what? Let us have something. Let us have something from. Uh, Uh, there are many problems, uh, say, some easy, some difficult. Say, determine the oh, I have to change that. Okay. Tell mine the energy. that uh, must be given to hydrogen atom Determine the energy that must be given to hydrogen atom so that it can emit it can emit uh, say H beta line you have H beta line given given Rh Redbird constant uh, uh, that is the Rh is equal to 1.097 into uh, 10 to power 7 meter inverse and you have say H I already 6.62 into 10 to power minus 34 the joule second and what is C is equal to 3 into 10 to power 8 meters second now find out that we have the Formula from the board theory, 1 by lambda, on the lambda, 1 by lambda is given by Rh, river constant, Rh and uh, uh, 1 over, for H beta line, 1 over 2 square minus 1 over N square, that is we know that H beta line, when the First or n1 is equal to 2 and higher orbits n changes 3, 4, 5, 6. That is the when n2 is equal to uh, 2 square and say n2 square when where n2 is equal to 2, 3, 4 and so on. So this is the y definition from both sorry. 1 over lambda river constant for h beta line that is the first orbit is second orbit and higher orbit third fourth fifth when transition takes place from third to two four to two five to two six to two so all these are h beta lines h alpha line when this is one and one one h beta when this two second orbit so find out this simply you put a river constant here and put n n2 is equal to 2, 3, etc. So you will get from this uh, the wavelength of h beta line. So that is 1 over lambda is equal to you put here the value of 
आर एच एंड टू एंड दिस फॉर एच बीटा एच अल्फा एच बीटा एंड टू टू इज इक्वल टू टू सो फर्स्ट वैल्यू इज टू सो टू स्क्वायर मीन्स फोर एंड दिस इज एन टू एंड टू थ्री फोर एच बीटा लाइन एच अल्फा लाइन सो फर्स्ट आर एच एंड देन इट इज टू स्क्वायर माइनस वन बाई एन टू इज फोर नाउ यू यू हैव ईज इक्वल टू एच एफ एच न्यू एंड एच न्यू मीन्स एच सी ओ लेमडा एच सी ओ लेमडा and e is equal to you know lambda here one over lambda so e is equal to this put here e is equal to h c or lambda so this is lambda e h h c r h 1 over 2 square minus 1 over 4 square so from this you can find out you can substitute the value here everything you can substitute and you can find out r h is given 1.097 to the power 7 so you substitute the value and find out the energy required to to be given so that this line is emitted so that is e is equal to this h c h and c so h 6.62 into 10 to the power minus 34 h c 3 into 10 to the power 8 h c and r h r h we have 1.097 1.097 into 10 to the power 7 is r h R H and one over two square minus one over four square. So one over four minus one over sixteen. So multiply solve this. You will get E. E is equal to. Uh, you will get multiply everything. Uh, I write after multiplication four point six four point six eight eight into ten to the power minus nineteen. Juice. So this will be you can calculate e in terms of e v or m v. Just you one point six and ten to the power minus nineteen. Just divide by this. You will get this as uh, if you divide by this four point six eight eight one point six into ten to the power minus nineteen. And this also turn to a minus nineteen. This e will be now you divide equal to two point five five two point five five e b electron volt. So this much energy is needed for emission of h beta line because this is the energy required. So excited state of energy, you can say, this is the energy required for the emission of h beta line from fourth orbit to second orbit. That is h h beta line. It, it emission from when there is transition from fourth orbit to second orbit. Like this, we can solve many problems. I am just giving examples of some problems. Because we should solve, we should do some problems also. That way, I am doing some problems. Okay. Now we can go to the some other thing, and let us do some some problems from some other chapter, which we covered. 
a two days yesterday, two days back. Yes. So we must do some problems now. Some other chapters. Okay. So we must do now some problem, say problem of uh, yesterday we discussed on nuclear physics, so the problem calculate calculate the binding energy when Calculate the binding energy when one neutron and one proton combine to form a neutron. When one neutron and one proton is combined. to give neutron okay <coughs> also so this is one you can say and second also two neutrons <coughs> two neutrons and two protons combine to give what they give two protons and neutrons and no idea This thing. We have mass of mass of neutron. Say we write mass of proton is equal to given that one point zero zero eight one three one point zero zero eight one three atomic mass unit mass of neutron is equal to Newton is slightly heavier, 1.00893 atomic mass unit. Newton mass, proton mass is given here. We will find out the mass defect, delta M. Delta M uh, for the neutron. Also given, say, mass of deuteron also given, mass of deuteron is given, how much? 2.01473, 2.01473 atomic mass unit. And the mass of alpha also given, mass of alpha is given, how much? Uh, 4.00389, 4.00389 atomic mass unit. So delta M for uh, deuteron means you see the mass of deuteron, mass of proton, neutron, you add this and subtract this, find out delta M. So 1.00 
1.00893 this is mass of the proton neutron this thing and uh, you have you add this Two point zero seven zero six, and deuteron is here. So this is more. So find out this M D will be simply subtract from this how much? Two point zero one four. Two point zero one four seven three subtract this. Zero point zero two three three. So that's that is the mass difference. And you see the in terms of energy, delta m c square, like that. Or you you can convert this into this is the atomic mass unit. So that is or you you convert this into an energy unit means delta m d is equal to. Delta m d is equal to zero point zero zero two three three into nine thirty one point five mev because one atomic mass unit is equal to nine thirty one point five mev. So you can multiply. You will get this in terms of energy. Delta m d is equal to two point one. Two point, yeah. Multiply. I get here two point one seven mev. Two point one seven mev. So remember, delta m d is the mass different, mass defect. That is also called binding energy of deuteron. Total binding energy. Binding energy of per nucleon you have to divide by two because there are two nucleons in the deuteron, neutron and proton. But this is the total binding energy. Of neutron 2.17 mv as calculated from mass difference. That means this much mass is lost when we two nucleons, one proton, one neutron combine to get neutron. Its system becomes bound because now the energy is evolved. It is out. You want to break this system. You have supply this much energy. This much energy you have to supply to the system. To break the neutron, to get the new neutron and proton separate. So this is the uh, you can say for the neutron. You can find out for the alpha particle also. Binding energy, total binding energy. For alpha particle. <laughs> You have an alpha mass of two proton two neutron. For alpha, you you can find out that delta m. Uh, how you will find out for alpha particle? Just you add the. Just you add the two protons two neutrons mass, and you take uh, four point that. You will get minus. The difference of this you can take m alpha minus twice m p plus m n. Then you can find out. So m alpha is here four point zero zero three eight nine minus two m p plus m n. M p plus m n is this. So twice of this. So twice of two point zero one seven zero six. So that you can find out the difference of this. Here mass defect delta m for alpha when alpha particle is formed by combination of four nucleons we get this much. So this defect you can find out this and. Uh, uh, 
this way I will get 0 0.03 0 0.03 0 0.023 atomic mass unit or this becomes in the in energy units in energy units we have 0 0.03 023 into 931.5 mEV. So this I will get by multiplication 28.1 nearly. 28.1 mEV. So this much energy, this is the binding energy of this much mass is lost. So this is the binding energy of the alpha. Binding energy of alpha is 28.1 mEV. Binding energy of neutron is this much. Means when alpha particle is formed by combination of two protons and two neutrons, this becomes a bound system, a negative energy state, where you have to supply energy to make it free, neutrons free. So that much energy is required. This much energy is given to break the alpha particle system into four nuclear clusters. Good. Now can we do some more problem, some uh, connected problem or some discussion we have something, something some problem, some discussion uh, that I have already done. So what else uh, we can do? Okay, I discussed yesterday something about uh, Q value etc. And uh, so let me say, find out, calculate the binding energy Calculate the binding energy. Calculate the binding energy uh, per nucleon of atomic mass. Calculate the binding energy per nucleon. Uh, if atomic mass if atomic mass of 8 oxygen 16 is 16.00 atomic mass unit given that mass of electron is equal to 0 0.30 0 0.30 say uh, 55 five atomic mass unit mass of the proton 1.007593 atomic mass unit mass of the neutron is 1.00892 atomic mass unit uh, 
what else? Seven atomic mass unit has 931 mm. Given like that. So you can do now, just given here. So what do you do? Mass of the eight proton, find out mass of the eight protons you have here. Eight into multiplied by one point zero zero seven five nine three. You get mass of eight proton. That is eight point zero. 8.06 8 atomic mass unit and then mass of the 8 protons, mass of the 8 neutrons, mass of the 8 neutrons is this. 8 into 1.00, 1.00892. Find out this mass of the 8 neutron is 8.0718, 8.0718. atomic mass unit. So we have 8 protons, 8 neutrons. Total mass we will get 8 mp plus 8 mn is equal to, you add both these two, you get this 16.1326, 16.1326 atomic mass unit and that is 16. So you can see. This, these are, this is a, when system is now composite, bind, and this is when they are separate, separate. So you can find out the binding energy by subtracting. So binding energy is 16.1326. Binding energy is how much? You subtract from this 16.1326 minus 16. So this is 0 0.1326 atomic mass unit or binding energy is 0 0.1326 into 931 that will be uh, you multiply this 7 that will be 1 uh, 1274 12 127.5 oh, 127, uh, 931, and you multiply by this. So this is, after multiplication, uh, you get 127.54, that is a, uh, that is a LEV. And you have V bar, Binding energy per nucleon, that is the binding energy divided by A. So that means oxygen 16 divided by 16. So that will be 127, 127.54, 127.54 divided by 16. So that comes to be nearly 7.9 MeV. You can see that the binding energy per nucleon for oxygen 16 is about 7.97. Yesterday I gave the graph of binding energy curve where I gave the binding energy for the iron was about 8.4 MeV. So this oxygen 16 on this side at 7.97. Mean value it, we took about 8 MeV. So this is 8 MeV binding energy per nucleon. Okay, so these are the, some calculations for binding energy, etc. And uh, uh, we may have some more, some more problems.
she can have some problems maybe from the radioactivity also some we can do some problems and uh, Okay, today I stop here. Maybe next time I uh, come, I discuss some more problem on the uh, radioactivity or some more problem on the, uh, or discuss something else, something, some new topic. So friends, I stop here. Thank you very much.